Your anointing that means you're breathing in the skin. So whatever the devil tries to bring to you, you just keep on stepping through it.
bigger than that. That was in my head. It's greater than that. You don't need to go to church musicals. Be with the church people. But that's where the Lord wanted me to be. I wanted to go on tour. Getting all this good money, but still broken inside. Let me tell y'all something. You can wear the finest of the finest. You can drive the finest of the finest. But when you go home at night, you are broke. Broke inside. You may have money. But when you broke inside, ain't nothing, nothing gonna go good. Nothing. So I had the glitz and the glam. Got out of his will. Lord, snatch me out of that show. So that to expose you. But you, le you left me. Now you started depending on people to confirm your gift. Who Shonda, which I placed in you. Oh, man. I wouldn't have been able to tell this a few years ago. So you depended on people to get you through. When you had problems, you would call friends. If one friend didn't help you and give you the right answer, you called another one. And if that one didn't make you satisfied, you called another one. And if you got out of that, you called the ex who, who understood you back then. So you think they'll understand you. Hello, somebody. Keep it real. Look at your neighbor say, keep it real. <laughs> so God out of his will, start depending on friends. Snatched me out of the show. Went into a deep depression. That's when he dealt with me. To the situation, to the deep depression, I immediately prayed. That was the door. If God has anointed you, He will always go back to prayer. But I thought about this too. The devil was in my ear. Oh, now you want to go back and pray to God now that you're in a dark place, Jordan. Come on now. God ain't hearing that. But the angel in my ear was like, God is a God of grace. Yes. All those crazy praises that you rendered up in church on Sunday, God remembered that. So I prayed, got a little breakthrough. Somebody came, a state representative said, listen, I want to help you out. I want to I pour into your life. He said, I want to help you out. I want to give you some cash. I want you to invest this in something. send a messenger, some help. You don't know how it's going to come, but it's, it's going to come. So that was my a, a portion of my release. Not the money, but then somebody wanted to invest in me. You know what I'm saying? It's something when somebody can just hand you some money. But when somebody say, I want to invest in you, that means they want to go through the fire with you. That means they will do whatever it takes to get you to wherever it is that you need to be. So these help me continuously. So after that, I, I just getting phone calls of great things to do and being exposed to kings and queens like yourselves. And I thank God for every opportunity that I have. Broadway. If the grave and the tomb couldn't hold him, then you know don't Depressions, problems, and circumstances, enemies, giants can't hold you. Because he is the risen king. And when God is risen, you can rise. So if some of you are in a dark place tonight, I came to speak to that dark place. You shall rise. Tonight you will rise. And we can, I can just lift this song up and I'm going to get out of your way. It's an old song. It's an old song. It's an old song. There is a name I love to hear. I love. I'm going to kill this right here. You don't need no music. All right. To sing his word. It sounds like music, music in my ears. It is the sweet, the sweetest name. Oh, on earth, 
So I can lift my voice tonight and yeah. tell you, oh, how I love Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Singing, oh, how I love Jesus. I know some of y'all tonight oh, yes. really love him. Oh. How I love Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yes. That's how the old folks used yes. to say yes. it. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. how I love Jesus. Yes. Anybody love that name tonight? Yes. You love him tonight, clap your hands. Oh, y'all pity Pat and God. If you love him tonight, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands like you know he's good. Clap your hands like you know he's real. So I want to tell you, don't lose hope and don't lose faith. Because God wants to use you in such a way that people are going to be affected. And not only will their lives be changed, but the people that they come in contact with will be changed. I ain't preaching to you, I'm just worshiping. A worship leader will talk to you, will guide you, will bring you through it. So I came to lead you into a place out of darkness, into some light. Huh? We want to live free, huh? Anybody want to be free? Free from chains, bondages. Some of us have walls that hinder us from getting to the next level in our lives. Come on, talk back to me. But God said, I got some great stuff in store for you. So we love Jesus. I'm done. Amen. Let's give it up tonight for Mr. Monica Jones for putting on this amazing program. Are you enjoying yourselves? Or are you turning it back into the hands of it?
has wisdom for the marketplace. But she is called to preach. She's called to preach the gospel. Many are called, but few are chosen. When God chooses you, oftentimes he breaks you. And you're trying to figure out, why am I broken in this area? But you're broken because the people that is called to you, they have been broken in the same area that you have been broken. So we wear our scars with joy. They are a badge of honor. And this woman of God does it well. I mean, she wear those scars like they red bottoms, okay? <laughs> she make you want to get a pair. So we just honor the anointing on her life. And we call her forth even now to break us through in our next level. Miss Carla R. Cannon. Give her a round of applause. Tell me, girl, 
Yeah. You are listening to someone who many count it out with Monica. Yeah. I should be somewhere in a crazy house, banging my head up against the wall. I gotta take these shoes off. Somebody say, Holy Ghost, have your way. Yeah. I believe that we've been church long enough. Yeah. I believe that some of y'all can turn up here and, 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 and preach scripture, but can we live it? We do real good with the Bible toting and the scripture quoting, but when it comes to walking that thing out, we sing the song, Jordan, late in the midnight hour. Yeah. God gonna turn it around. Yeah. He's gonna work in your favor. You just wait and see. Well, what happens when you gotta tarry in that wait? Come on. Oh, I'm in the house. What happens? We're in the house, baby. When God called you to the nations and you say, but God, I got a dilemma. I got a thorn in my flesh. God said, that's a reminder that you can't do this thing without me. Some of you are stagnant today. Come on with that. And you're stagnant and you're stuck because you have disqualified yourself. I told the people not long ago. I said, the devil ain't at your house. Look at somebody say, he Y'all got to live enough for me listening. If you pull on me, I promise I'll release it. Watch this. He ain't at some of your house. Yeah. Why? Somebody say, tell me, girl, tell, tell me. me. Because he has released enough seed in your life for you to self-destruct. Ah, he ain't at your house. Wow. He ain't there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Because give to what he sows his seed. In your mind. He tells us that we're not good enough. He reminds us of what we did back then. He reminds you of what you're in right now. But my brother done already told us that uh, hell couldn't hold Jesus down. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. Let me just go on to it. Uh, Hannah had a penina. Uh, did she not? Did she? Did she not? Yeah. Did she not? Rachel had a Leah. Yeah. Did she, did, you know, one was the beautiful one. One won't all that cute, you understand? And for some of y'all, you think your baby daddy, maybe you're watching. How many, it don't matter how many kids you have, boo boo, if the man don't want you, the babies ain't gonna keep them. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Watch this. David had a Goliath. Yeah. 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 Have you been able to identify the Goliath in your life? Or have you become so comfortable with your Goliath that you don't even recognize that you are sleeping with the enemy? What do you do when you've married your kryptonite? What do you do? Nehemiah had sin ballot. Jesus had the scribes and the Pharisees, you understand? And so you have enemies as well. And I'm not talking about your sister and your brother. Because the Bible says that we wrestle not against flakes of blood. But against, but against principalities and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. And the reason why we live defeated lives, yeah, I come to give you some strategy. Because yeah. all that preaching, teaching, shouting, jumping up and down everywhere. And if you go out here and live a defeated life, I, I, that ain't going to happen under my watch. Look at somebody say, if that happens, it's because you didn't do no work. Hello. Church folk are the laziest, most shoutingest. We got all this power and no oil. Uh -huh. You got many that have gone on winning Sunday best because they gift. But the oil will cost you everything you got. Jordan, am I lying? But watch this. What do you do? When being blessed, being chosen by God, feels like a curse. Put my shoes back on. Let me act like I got some home training. Watch this. What do you do? I needed to settle down in here. Because I need you to get this. Because some of you, you are literally at a place of where you said you told the Lord, you better do something, you better do it quick. You're in here, I hear you in the spirit. You said you better do something, you better do something now. Is there anybody here that's desperate that says, God, if you don't do it, it won't get done? Yes, yes. I remember being wrapped up in my dilemma. Can y'all see me and hear me back there? Yeah. I remember being wrapped up in my dilemma. 16, I mean 17 got pregnant. Yeah. I was a baby having a baby. And so 
the very thing that the enemy tried to use to cause disgrace to my family actually ended up being my blessing in disguise. Can I tell you that God is going to use all of your pain? Come on, come on, come on. He is going to use everything that you've been through. I have a saying that I say. I said that he's going to Romans 8 and 28 that thing. All things are working together for the good of them who love the Lord. You love them, don't you? See, we got to learn how to pause and read scripture slow. We so quick to want to let everybody know how much we know. No, Boobie, how much are you applying? Somebody say the application is where the power is. Somebody told me one time, they said the Bible ain't nothing but a book. I said, you right. That's right. Hold up. The Bible ain't nothing but a book. I said, you right. Depending on who reading it. I said, but to the believer. I said, that's where my help comes from. That's where my strength comes from. Yeah. 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 So you are listening to somebody that's in the trenches with you. Have you ever been in a place, and some of you may be there right now, where you say, does anybody see me? Does anybody hear me? Does anybody, Kimberly, feel me? I know what it feels like to sit in church with my girlfriend, literally, and because I was dressed feminine, Dr. G, and she was dressed like a man, these so-called Holy Ghost filled women would skip me and go minister to her. Hold up, boo! We got the same demon. So yeah, you can see it with your natural eye, but you gonna have to catch this one in the spirit. Come on, one thing that God showed me, he said the reason why my people are perishing, because you do understand there's a lot of dead men walking. Yeah, we eyeliner, we eyeliner, we lipstick, but we dead men and women walking, and we are empty. Women, you wanna get tired of pretending. If I came in here with a white mask on my face, y'all would say I look crazy. That's how some of you look for those of us that can see in the spirit. We looking at you like you crazy. Yes. 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 Because this is what sin will do. Sin will blind you. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we talk about the grace of God, but let's balance that out with the wrath of God. Because there is a time when you can come to a place where God will turn you over to a reprobate mind. with my trifling tendencies. Oh, you got some too. We got to be careful when we say, I would never do this. Be careful. Because if you ever get out of the will of God, ain't no telling what you will do. Are you tired of hiding? I'm from North Carolina. Let me go real country with it. Is you tired yet? I ain't come to play. I was working out with my trainer yesterday. I got in an accident a year ago on July the 20th. I ain't had spasms in my hip in a long time. Yeah. Dr. G, all of a sudden, she told me to do that last dip. I said, whoa, baby. Whole hip went out. Go ahead. Watch this. Now, in my, in my corner of mind, I can say, oh, that's because of the accident. I'm having, you know, muscle spasms. Mm -hmm. But because I've been in this thing for a little while longer, wow. I said, no, this is a little bit deeper. And guess what? Although I had an issue, I started warring for her. Right. Yeah. My God in heaven, I started warring for you. Because a lot of times, what you are faced with right now, Rosalind, is not even about you. But it's about who you're called to. Woo! And so many of us say you're going to do great things, but you're not willing to carry the cross.
come on. The anointing of God is going to cost you. Yes. Everything Ooh, you yes. got. Yes. Everything. Yes. Everything. How many of y'all have, pl- have prayed for kingdom connections? Be honest, raise your hand. You say, God, send me kingdom connections. Those of you who said, stand up. This, this next moment is for you. <laughs> you Look at me. You told me that you've been praying for kingdom, kingdom connections. connections. Yeah. It's going to cost you for every kingdom connection that you make. Because here is the deal. I I remember telling the Lord this, Kimberly, a long time ago. I told the Lord, I said, I don't need no shopping buddies. That's right. 